Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So the news and interest feed saga on Windows 10 continues, because as I posted last week, I mentioned in that video, which will be in the end screen of this video, that Windows 10's news and interest feed had now become massive and was taking up almost two thirds of my screen real estate. Now, just to let you know that after booting up my Windows 10 device, and um, this morning on the 18th of March, I have noticed now that the news and interest is so-called back to its original sizing. So it seems like Microsoft now has found the balance and has returned it to its original size. Now, when the news and interest feed was launched um, a year or two ago, it wasn't as big as it is now. It used to be around about this height here. And didn't take up almost half of my screen real estate. And then I posted a couple of weeks ago that it had become huge. And then as mentioned last week, it was massive. So it seems now that Microsoft has had a change of heart and has returned it to its so-called original large size, which I much prefer, I must be honest. Um, the size of it last week was just too big. And I think this is a more kind of reasonable size for the news and interest feed if you are using this feature. And just a quick recap, if you want to turn the feature off, you can just right click on your taskbar and you can actually turn the feature off if you don't want to see it. And obviously, if you want to reintroduce that, you can pop that on, but just bringing it to your attention and difficult to say if this is going to stay now, because obviously Microsoft has been playing around with this news and interests. I think they've been kind of trying to find a balance um, because it's been changing a couple of times over the last week, week or two, and now it seems that they may have kind of hit the sweet spot. And I hope it stays half of my screen real estate and not two thirds as I posted last week, because I think this is a more practical manager, manageable side, size for Windows 10. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.